it's Krista here for the Tina Conte Foundation. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new, consider subscribing. We put out videos every week and I guarantee you're going to find something that you can use to help your nonprofit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply for Costco's grant program. I'm going to walk you through the application and tell you about the two different grant programs that your organization can put in an application to. So let's go ahead and get started. As you see, we're on their website. You're going to go to costco.com forward slash charitable giving. And of course, I will link that website in the description bar below. Once you're at the website, you're going to scroll down and make sure you, you put in the appropriate zip code so that you can get the closest Costco to you. Now, it tells us here that Costco's primary efforts are focused on uh, supporting children, education, and health and human services in the communities where they do business. So this is a great way for your nonprofit, especially us new ones, to get the things that we need. Now it says the donation and grant eligibility guidelines. You got to be a 501c3. And you, of course, you must have a focus that supports children, education, and healthy human services. And monetary requests only. So it tells us that Costco accepts applications throughout the year. And you're only eligible to submit one application per their fiscal year. So as we scroll down here, we see two different applications or that you can submit. For us new nonprofits, it says warehouse donations. And if you're a broader, a larger organization, it says grant applications. So local community grants, lots of times when you're just getting started are the way to go. This gives you practice when filling out the newer grant applications. So let's look at both of them, but let's look at uh, warehouse donations first. We're gonna click on go to form. And this form pops up and it's telling us to please review the guidelines found here. We're gonna to touch on the FAQs in a bit. And it tells us that this form can only be, cannot be submitted online. And you need to submit your request four to six weeks in advance. And it says Costco shop carts may be issued in lieu of monetary or in-kind requests. Due to the large number of requests, Costco is unable to guarantee a response. So keep that in mind. So you may not get money, cash money. You're probably going to get, you may get a shop cart, which you can use for something in Costco, which is still awesome. Um, it also says that they want you to print um, to, this is a fillable form. So they say the form should be completed electronically and printed. So go ahead and fill out your information. This is a very simple, basic form. Um, you see organization information, your organization information, your EIN number, so forth. And then the program information. What program are you requesting this uh this donation for what are you needing what program what is the purpose how will the funds be used and area of the community that program will serve remember it needs to coincide with Costco's area okay the signature applicant straight forth and simple and if you don't know where the local Costco is next to you you can click on that link and it's going to take you back to do a search okay so now let's go back and look at the other one here now it says grant applications. Let's look at this for larger broad based organizations and causes. Okay. Now it's telling us that now that we're leaving Costco, we're going to visit a website, different website. So let's go ahead and do that. So it brings us to this website here. And as you can see at the top, it says new application or open and existing application. As you scroll down to the bottom, it's going to tell us what we need to complete this application. It tells us that we're going to need a cover letter or W-9, your organization's budget information, current year and past year, program budget information, and measurable results or impact report for your most recent year of Costco support, if applicable. So as you can see from this, this is a lot more detailed and it tells you what they do not fund. So you need to go through and read that to make sure that you're not wasting your time in theirs. And then you have to click and say, I understand. And then you're gonna enter the name of the person who is completing this. And then you're gonna go through and say, should, should this request be approved? 
this is what whom should the payment go to before we click on next look at up here at the top these little bars represent the application process and that is the end so the next bar if you just wanted to click and not put anything to get an idea of how the application is going to go it's asking you here where are you located um, so that they can you can click on that and if you don't see one in your region you need to click the closest one information title job title and so forth your role and have you previously been funded by Costco so you're going to need to fill in that information the next is where they get into the financials the name of the program project um, requested amount of cash your current budget your past year's budget now see if you're a new organization you wouldn't have any of this the percentage of the organization's budget is a lot allocated to overhead so they're getting a lot more detailed so for new nonprofits you wouldn't have any of this and you wouldn't have any way of filling it out unless you be zero 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 and that wouldn't totally be good so you put that information in now I'm not saying you can't apply for it but I'm saying it gets a little bit more detailed and if you're not familiar with filling this out you could probably get someone to help you mission and purpose of your organization where you would have a mission statement um, the organization's primary program so you would have these briefly describe how the requested funding will be used and then so forth final page here says you're almost done after you submit this form we'll review your grant application and we consider it we will consider it carefully so we ask for your patience and so that's it so that is the form now if you had some questions about something specific like how much money can you get or so forth they have an FAQs so let's just look at the FAQs right quick it tells us here now you should read all of them but one of the things that I thought was interesting um, where it mentions here let's see which level of giving should I choose we talked about that based on the size and scope of your organizational program please see our two giving options below to determine the appropriate level for your request okay so keep that in mind okay now here at the bottom it says is there a dollar limit for approved grant requests now it says typical award sizes vary but organizations should not submit proposals for more than 10 percent of their program's overall budget it says for new applicants we advise submitting conservative requests so that means they'll go in there asking for a million dollars you know so you need to make sure of that so guys this concludes the application process on how to submit an application for costco are you going to do it do you think that you would submit an application let us know in the comments thank you so much for watching we'll see you in the next one